Welcome to Socorso's Science Spectacular. So, Socorso, who was Isaac Newton? Is he a scientist with a wig? A wig? Well, yeah. But he, but he also did other stuff. Do you know what else? He discovered a new kind of telescope. You're right. Do you know anything else? He used to poke around his eye to, to experiment with light. What? Whoa! Like, poke... No way. Yeah? Well, do you know there's, there's something else about Isaac Newton? No. Do you remember... When did he figure out all this gravity stuff? When he was isolating himself during the plague. You're right, dude. Way to go. High five. <laughs> so what's really cool about Newton's laws is how universal they really are. They apply to just about everything. In fact, they even apply to things that Newton didn't even think about when he was developing these laws. For example, getting astronauts to the moon. Or my favorite school activity. Rockets! Newton's first law of motion has three important parts. An object at rest stays at rest. An object in motion stays in motion unless acted upon by an outside net force. Now, here is a great example. It's a stomp rocket. Look at it. Now really, keep looking. Physics is exciting, isn't it? Okay, no it's not, but I, I want you to get my point. So, what do we know about this rocket right here? The rocket is at rest. Oh, you're right. The rocket is at rest, and the rocket will stay at rest unless... An outside force comes along and changes that. Let's watch that one more time. Three, two, one. So now we have an object in motion, right? So what does Newton's first law say about that? Will it keep moving? Yes. You're right, it will keep moving. Let's check it out. Oh wait, it's curving. Why is it curving? Gravity. That's right. Gravity pulls it down, and that's why it's curving in that arc. Wait, it stops. How does it stop? The ground. That's right. The ground exerts a force on it and stops its motion. Okay, great. So Newton's first law essentially says that things are going to keep doing what they're doing until something else comes around and changes that. What about the second law? equals M A. That's right. F equals M A. That's the most common version. In fact, it was the same version that my father whispered to me while I was still in my mom's tummy. I know, it seems like I was predestined to do this type of work. But I like this version better. A equals F over M. I like this version because it shows that the acceleration is affected by the force and the mass. Back to the stomp rockets. Okay. Two, one. So the bigger the force, the bigger the acceleration will be. And this holds true mathematically because the bigger the F, the top number is, the bigger the A number will be as well. All right, so we just figured out that the more force, the farther this is going to go, or the more acceleration it has. But here's the thing. What about mass? So here's what I did. Here is a stomp rocket, and this is just a cardboard tube. But that means it has more mass than it normally does. So, so Corso, can you put this on the stomp rocket? And then I'm going to go and stomp it as much as I did the last time, and we're going to see if it goes farther or shorter. I think you know what's going to happen. Mass is the lower part of that fraction. When you talk about mass, if the bottom number gets bigger, what happens 
to a to the acceleration well in a fraction if the bottom number gets bigger like it goes from 1 over 2 to 1 over 4 you have a smaller fraction even though that number is bigger so it follows that if you have a bigger mass you'll have a smaller acceleration the acceleration of an object is bigger with a bigger force like that but the acceleration is smaller with a bigger mass what about the third laws? What about the rockets? We're almost there. Newton's third law says what? For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Right. Now this one can get confused and misused. So I like to rephrase it as if object A is exerting a force on object B, object B is also exerting a force on object A. And that's, those two forces are going to be the same type and the same amount, but they will be opposite in direction. Classic demo. Straw on a string, a balloon that's blown up, taped to the straw. Which direction will the balloon go? Left or right? Ready? Go! The air is pushed that way, so the balloon goes this way. I go. Okay. I want to do that again. High five. I want to do that again. Three, two, one, go! All right, so here's what I got going on. This is a better demonstra demonstration than the other one. Well, as you can see there, we have a little bit of, what's that? Water. Water in a two liter bottle. I made a little parachute sort of thing here. And what you see is some fins to make sure it's stabilized. But here's what we're gonna do. We are going to pump some air into this so that this is a high pressure and you have more kinetic energy. And then we're gonna let it release, okay? Three, two, one. We're gonna test some of these laws, right? Yep. So here's what I got. I have the fire. The fire, right? This is a wizard type of rocket. It's one of the lightest ones, one of the smallest ones that we have. And the rocket we have in it is an A83. Okay, now the idea here is that this, don't take it out, this one is very light, whereas the one Socorso has is heavier. This has orange and silver stripes. So what we called it was, since it has orange and silver, we called it the Silver Tiger. And it is very heavy. And last time it didn't have a hole in the parachute, so it went, like, so it went all the way over there. <laughs> Light versus heavy same force because it's the same engine same force hopefully the slow-mo on the cell phone will get us a good show of which one accelerates faster okay so corso are you ready for the countdown yep all right let's do the slow attack first three two, two one, one go Last Yeah, go ahead. Tell them what happened. Okay, so it like went up and like, and it was like, and like right when it hit the ground, guess what happened? The parachute exploded, but it was such a hard hit that look what happened. It broke. It yep. broke. Yep. So when it came down, we didn't, didn't have enough power to really get it up there so it came back down and boom hit the ground and that made that happen yeah. so we'll see maybe we can fix that maybe we can't go oh that scared me i'm getting out of here i think it's where, going to me where is it huh? i totally lost it 
Oh, there it is. So you saw this on an A83, which clearly is not enough power for a rocket such as this. So here's what we're gonna do. Remember Newton's second law, A is F over M, and we changed the M. We made a bigger M, so the acceleration was less, but now we're gonna change the F, the force, right? So here I've got a B64, so not an A, but a B. This is a more powerful engine. We're gonna launch that, and then we're gonna launch it with a C65, so a C stage engine, or C um, class engine, and see how much faster that is. So we're changing the force, but we're gonna stick with this rocket, <laughs> assuming it stays in one piece. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go from there and see if we can verify Newton's uh, second law. Quick review of Newton's three laws. So let's start off with the first one. The rocket will stay on the launch pad unless a force changes that. Like the rocket engine. Once the rocket engine is applying that force, the rocket accelerates up. The lighter it is, the faster it accelerates. And the more powerful the force, the faster it accelerates. And then there's Newton's third, action and reaction. So, you have an acceleration because there's an action and a reaction. The action is... The explosion pushing the gases out. Doesn't have to be gases. It could be water or it could be air yeah. out of a balloon. So there you go, everybody. Those are Newton's three laws. Socorso, what did you think? Good. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah? Are rockets your favorite? Totally. I don't know, what should our sign off be? Boom science? Um, I'm gonna hide on the tail. Why? Because I'm gonna explode for the Newton laws. I, I have a different reaction for each one. And this was Socorso Science Spectacular. <laughs> Boom! Science. <laughs> Thanks, bud. Thanks, dude. He's doing a good job. Go ahead. Hi. I love science. 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 For every action, there's an opposite and equal action. Reaction! Three, two, one, go! Hey everybody, we are the science team. Welcome to, to Shikoso Science Spectacular. We'll have, we'll have different kinds of things. But we'll also we'll have science some days, and we'll also have two other things: marble race and Mario game.